What are you doing with that chicken this morning, Mark? Well, we got something a little bit different with the chicken. Instead of just roasting it, we're going to bake it in salt. Sounds a bit scary and there's lots of salt here, but we're going to make a pastry, wrap it, and it's all going to cook together and season and keep that chicken nice and juicy. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And then we've got a nice little salad, little pasta salad uh, with some peanuts in just to serve on the side. And this is actually a neighbor's recipe, which I've just ripped off for the nation. So I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit later. Now it's over to Holly. Well, great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we're cooking chicken, but not any old chicken. We're using rangatike chicken, which is corn fed, free range chickens, which everyone loves at the moment, done right here in New Zealand. So, does that make a difference to the flavour, do you think? Oh, definitely, definitely. There's more uh, more flavour in free range mm. chickens, uh, especially corn fed as well. You get a nice yellow tinge to the chicken. Nice. Um, yeah, it brings out the flavour, but so does this salt crust. When we bake it, it's going to season it and keep it nice and juicy. Nice. So, a happy chicken is a tasty chicken. Exactly. That's what we've learned so far. Okay, good. <laughs> Right, so we're going to make a salt pastry. So we've got flour. Yep. And then I've got some rock salt there and some fine salt. Mm -hmm. So that goes in. It's quite a lot of salt. Why so have we got Why have we got different types? Uh, just to be different. Okay, nice. You can do it with all rock salt if you want. But I find if you roll it out, if there's too much rock salt, it's quite hard to roll out. So if you use some fine salt and a bit of rock salt, you get that sort of two textures. Okay, brilliant. But you're not going to eat this pastry, all right? So that is the most important thing because there's a lot of salt. Yeah, I was going to say there is a lot yeah. of salt. <laughs> so this is, you're not eating the pastry. You're just using it to uh, cook the chicken. Yeah. So you're almost sort of like um, almost slow cooking it in a in a well in a pastry in a bag really, okay, you know, nice. and it's seasoning at the same time. Right, so that goes in a little bit of rosemary as well, mm -hmm. and then some egg whites. Yeah, so this is going to help um, help bind it. Okay. Right, and then you can. Um, I'm going to get used to mix all this together. Okay, good. Oh, it's all right. It's not souffle. <laughs> Why does everyone react like that? It'll still work. Right, and then some water as well. So I've got a little bit of water in there. And then you just mix all that and mm -hmm. then bring it into a dough. Okay. Right, whilst you're getting that ready, mm -hmm. I am going to get the chicken ready. So I've got a whole chicken here. So you can do this recipe with a whole chicken if you want, like leave the legs on it. But today I'm just going to use the crown. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so basically the crown's just the breasts. So just cook the down. Cr the crown is just the breasts. I wonder <laughs> why they called that that. <laughs> um, so just going to pop, uh, pop the legs out. So just cut down the side of the skin, yep. pop the legs out, and then you can just cut down. What? <laughs> you can just cut down and take them off. Nice. All right, so save that. You can do another recipe tomorrow with that. Yeah. Um, or if you got, you know, you got a lot of people coming for dinner, do uh, do the whole chicken. <laughs> right. This and is then... really good timing after we just talked about that uh, chicken documentary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but those chickens were happy. They were having yeah. a good time. They're and show this, chickens. And this is what happens to the losers. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're just gonna uh, it's gonna take this excess um, uh, cage out of here. Okay, good. So, so you're gonna take that. So keep that because that yes. makes a really good stock. Yep. So I'll keep that for later. Um, take the wings off or leave them on if you want. Mm -hmm. If you leave the wings on, it's a good idea. You want to just sort of fold them back and tuck them under. Okay. Sort of like that. Why, what's the reason for that? Just so it helps. Well, it'll just be easy to um, prep. Uh, no, it'll be easy to uh, wrap after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah okay. That's the cool. One. So nice. you want to get like uh, wings uh, going through. Right, so chicken's there, so that's great. So you can leave the skin on. Um, we're going to put a little bit of thyme in the cavity, cut a lemon in half, pop that in as well. That's going to start flavouring it. And a little bit of uh, smoked paprika Ooh, just on the outside. Don't need to season this with any salt because we've got the salt in the pastry. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pepper, and that is ready to go in the pastry. How's the pastry? Yeah, get in there, yeah. It's well, now you can, get, you can get your hands in there, you can start okay. kneading it. It's going to come to a ball, and then we're going to start rolling it out. Okay, where do you want me to do this? Okay, okay, well, I'll do that <laughs> while Holly's doing her things, I think. <laughs> and wash my hands first. Mark, uh, we'll come back, see what you have to do with the rest of this chicken straight after we catch up with Holly. Holly, so much more to come on the cafe as we'll be catching up with actor, comedian, writer and funny bloke Nick Samson, whose latest show resorts to theft for laughs. Sounds interesting, we'll find out more. Plus, I'll tell you how you can win some delicious prizes for Mum. And Mel will help me out with that as well. Right now, though, we need to finish off this chicken. Rangatike chicken is what we're using, corn-fed, free-range, my fave. But this is interesting, I've never cooked it like this before. Right, so we just, uh, we've rolled out the pastry. Yeah. So I've got a big section here and I've rolled out like a little bit of trim and then that's just going to be a base. So the chicken's actually sitting on that now. Okay. And then get a big piece, mm -hmm. roll it up and then it's just like a pie. True, or a pizza oven. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. It's like putting so the chicken of... in a clay pizza oven. And then all you want to do is sort of just go around 
you know, get a nice chicken shape and just make sure it's all sealed in. Mm -hmm. And then the whole idea is you're going to bake it. It's going to get nice and crusty because of the egg white. Yeah. And then it's going to steam inside, so that will make it just so tasty and juicy. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to try it. And then, you know, so, I mean, that's sort of the, the, the basic idea and the basic principle of it. Right. Um, you know, you can sort of trim it trim it around here. And then, you know, you can have a bit of fun with it now, you know? You can you can leave it like that, or you can turn it into a chicken. Okay. Oh, what and, do you mean turn it into a chicken? And how do you do that? Look, just so happens there's extra pastry in this recipe. Okay. <laughs> so I need a head. Yes. So there's some pastry to make a head. Okay, oh, now you're putting me under pressure. Yeah. I could barely mix and the then, dough. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make some uh, wings. Okay. And then we'll put it on. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, this is paying homage to the fantastic chicken that we're using today. Rangatake chicken. Um, okay, well, this, why can't you eat this pastry? It smells really good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just about flavouring. I mean, you can eat it if you want, but it'll be very, very salty. Okay, I got a little bit. Anyway, so. Oh, do we need some little eyes? Yeah. Okay. So I made one earlier. Oh. Because I knew this would happen. <laughs> oh, no, his eyes falling out. <laughs> There you go, so he's got, it. He's got a little hair. Oh, that is a happy chicken, all right. It is, and you know, we can make, make a few wings and we'll stick that on it, and then you want to bake it, so hot oven, about 180 degrees, um, for about an hour or so, maybe even a bit longer, depending on the size of your chicken. Yum, okay. Well, hopefully that. we've got one in the oven already, because <laughs> yeah. we ain't got that long on the show. But so well worth it. Oh, that is cute. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. You can spend a little bit more time and make it quite cool, you know, give it a little tail. Nice. And call him Rangi. And call him a chicken <laughs> Rangi. Rangi tukke. Hey, uh, that's fantastic. So work it in the oven. If you need the details and the temperatures, the ingredients, it's easy to find. Just go to thecafe.co.nz. We'll come back a little later in the show and we'll find out how this is all looking when it's fully finished. Yeah, I'm with Mark. I'm, we didn't get to see how to make your orzo pasta salad. So what do you put in there? Right, so we've got the pasta, so we just cooked it. A little bit of peanut oil. Ah, goes why peanut over. oil? Because uh, we've got some peanuts in there as well, ah. so we've got nice and crunchy, and that's what the neighbour's recipe is. Oh, yeah. And your neighbour's <laughs> called? Uh, Nicola. Thanks, Nicola. Nicola. Do you steal all your recipes? Yeah, pretty much. Good, good. <laughs> excellent. And then we've got uh, soy sauce going in there, yep. some spring onions, some coriander oh, Jesse, and love it. some peanuts as well. Perfect. So mix it all up, pop it in the fridge and it'll just sort of soak up. Soak up all that flavour. Beautiful, beautiful and tasty, yeah. OK, looking forward to there that. There you go. All right, I've got to go. I'm over here. Now to a man who we always have to wrestle to get to eat his food. Mark, how are you? How's your chicken coming? Oh, the chicken's great. So it's been in the oven about an hour. Just let it cool down a little bit. And then you want to just carefully cut around the side. It's yeah. pretty tall. Mm -hmm. And then you can just lift it off. Oh, wow. And look at that chicken there. Beautiful, oh. nice and moist. You can just take some of the breast out, slice it up, Yum. or even just oh. a bit whole on oh. there. Look at that. Oh, that Fantastic. Looks so good. Beautiful. Bring it on over. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Great chicken, great recipe. <laughs> and what are you doing on Monday? Well, on Monday, I've got a Cloudy Bay clam chowder. Oh, yum. yum.